Hello guys, welcome to the seventh video in this tutorial series Android application development with Kotlin. Uh, in the last video, we talked about array adapter and the limitation of array adapter. Now in this video, we're going to move a step ahead and then talk about base adapter. So you can create either a new project or you can just edit the code in the same project. I'm just editing the code in the same project. I'm not saving any anything right now. So let's jump into activity underscore main. I have a list view like last time, similar one uh, with uh, width, height, and ID. Let's go to Kotlin class. In Kotlin class, in Kotlin class, uh, I have declared these three data arrays. So what I am going to do today is I'm going to create a list view where each single view will have one name country and phone so the first view is going to have john usa and this number the second view is going to have neil usa and this number the, the third the third view is going to have buzz uk and this number remember one thing the data can come from any source it can be your static data it can come from your database or it can come from your servers okay but for now since we have not jumped onto the servers and database part yet so we're just using static array variables for now so like i have done here just create three arrays here and then after this we're going to implement in it in our list view here so our list view is list dot adapter equals to let me give a new name custom adapter just context and then these three data arrays okay so what do we do with this we don't use base adapter class directly but we use base adapter with another class that we created let's go ahead and press alt enter and create class extract extract to separate file and we have a custom base adapter here so our first we will we'll have a context here so let's just give variable for now for this one the other is our string array the third one is also a string array and the fourth one phone number is an integer array so we'll just keep five for everything here and here we are going to implement base adapter okay. so it's done now now what we need to do is base adapter in case of array adapter if you remember you did not have to do anything you just needed to provide the data source and then beta and and then array adapter took care of everything but in case of base adapter you are responsible for creating your own views that means the constructor in base adapter is not rigid in fact you don't even need to define any kind of constructor like you did in array adapter or you don't need to call any kind of constructor that you need to call in array adapter the base adapter calls a default constructor here so i so every function that is responsible for the views you have to take care of those functions here so let's just go ahead and then hit alt enter and implement method so we need these four methods just implement these methods here okay now the first function get count what you do in get count is you take care of the size of your data array or your data so here our data are name country and phone if you see the size of these arrays are all same so i can consider any one of them and then return their length so uh, let me do name dot size and it's done in the in the second function get item what you need to do is you don't need to do anything you just need to return a position the third function also you just need to return a position but this is in integer form but we need a return type of long so i'm just going to do too long 
now the real fun is here what do you implement you write it here so the first thing first thing you're going to do is you're going to use your convert view to inflate a new layout layout inflator dot from your context dot inflate r dot layout dot let me give a name single layout i've already created the layout file i'll show you the structure of the layout file again parent we can define our text view file name one equals to view dot find view by id so text view so r dot id dot ah sorry let me show you the layout first so if we go to single layout what i've done is i created three text views one for name one for address and one for phone so i'm just going to define them the first one for name again a second for address second of text view r dot id dot address or i'll see the id what i've given okay okay it's address address and the last one is our phone so phone one equals to view dot and view id text view r dot id dot phone okay now we just need to set data to this one so name one dot text is going to be name and position okay we missed something here what is this so i'm with null check okay i don't need to do this i just need to do this one here so that it does not have null variable there so again address one dot text equals to the second is country second data source here as you can see is country so country and position and last one phone one text equals to phone and a position why is this giving me an error let's see so since the phone array phone array is an integer array but we're trying to set a text to a string so we need to add dot to string parameter here just hit alt enter and then do dot to string now we go we are just going to return a view here and it's done so how does this work whenever your application runs these three data arrays are going to be created first of all your layout is going to be set uh, a framework for your list view will be set first this data these data arrays will be defined and then your custom adapter will be called now what custom adapter does is your custom adapter takes help of base adapter and then it creates some new views it creates some new views inside your big activity underscore main view okay it creates small views based on the number of data size there uh, also another thing i'd like to tell you you don't need to add scroll scroll feature here because it uh, list view supports scroll by default so you don't need to do anything here uh, 
I think we're done. Let's go ahead and run this application and see what happens. First of all, I'd like to start my uh, screen projector. Okay, the application has almost installed, but my screen projection projector is not showing yet. Let's wait for some time or maybe restart this. Okay, now you can see each and every views has three data here. Okay, a name, a country, and a phone number. Let me show you a feature of scrolling also. So I'm just going to copy these data and then paste it, repaste it again. I mean, repaste it twice. These data too. Have I missed any comma in now? it twice let's copy these two and repaste it twice now let's run the application again hmm. okay as you can see the scrolling feature comes by default okay okay in case of an adapter you could not edit your views like if you want to increase if you wanted to increase the text size of this john or, or just place this usa somewhere here our phone number maybe in a different color you could not do that but in case of base adapter you have that full flexibility so let's just explore that let me give a text size here maybe 30 db and a text style this but I need something like 15 dp or uh, maybe 20 dp is okay okay let's run and see what happens or maybe I can add a text color here text color uh, I'm just going to use one of these colors so maybe color primary is fine let's run this This way you can implement your base adapter in list view. Remember you can also do this in grid view. Uh, base adapter can be implemented in grid view too. So if you'd like to try that out yourself, you can do it. I'm not going to do grid view but if you run into any problem, you can just leave a comment down and then uh, I'll, try to, I'll try to help you out in that. Thank you guys, thank you for listening, I'll see you in the next video.